she would try to teach me my ABCs or how to spell my name. And I'd be like, I know it. I know, I know, I know. And wasn't knowing. Never knew. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm starting my weekly vlog. So right now I am, well, let me back up. So I'm in the process of starting my very first Airbnb. And right now I'm at the property because we have to figure out inventory and what type of furniture we're going to need. I'm in charge of the furniture, buying the furniture and um, just making sure that the Airbnb is furnished. So we're here right now. I'm going to be uh, bringing you guys with me. I'll show you how it's looking right now as well as just keep you updated on the process. I don't know. It's my very first time. So we'll just take it as it goes. But I wanted to bring you guys on this journey. So let's get into it. So right now we are in the main bedroom of the air. Hmm? No. What was you about to say? I thought you were talking to me. I know. We're in the main bedroom of the Airbnb. We're about to, I just took pictures of everything. We're about to go through and decide what is needed and what is not needed in each bedroom. So right now we're in the main bedroom, which has a bed, a mirror, a TV. Let me show you guys. Hold on. Here's the main bedroom. Let me back up. There you go. It's the main bedroom. It's a patio out there. TV. Bathroom. Everything is currently being worked on, remodeled, cleaned, whatnot. Yeah, this one has two nightstands, a dresser, has this little couch. I was wondering if we could, like, I want to low-key get rid of this. Like, it wouldn't be as jarring if it wasn't this whole thing. Like, this little canopy part. Like, I wonder if that could come off. Probably not, though. Yeah, we're gonna need a new mattress. This is a king. You said we are gonna need a new mattress. Yeah. yeah that's gonna be an expensive mattress. Main bed. Uh, so, should I be putting what we need or putting what we have as well? I'm just doing both. Uh, well, what we should do is we should create a checklist of what we want each room and then because you know you can go like the little thing where you can put like yeah, that that kind of checklist what we want each room and then check what we have and what we don't have okay uh, so i'm gonna go back on to um the drive because they kind of had a lot of stuff on there already okay and i kind of deleted a lot of stuff too okay. but go back on the drive and we can work from there okay we just finished the main bedroom. Also, because they're doing a lot of painting and stuff in here, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what we need and what we don't need decor wise. So we're just gonna focus on like main stuff like getting bed frames, mattresses, sheets, pillows, all that stuff that we know that we need to buy and stuff we need to buy fresh. Everything else, we're going to, you know, try to get it secondhand, Salvation, Goodwill, Facebook Marketplace, you know, go the most budget friendly route. I think we should do the living room right now, but that's gonna be easier. To do right now? Yeah, I mean, we can just work this way. Or do you wanna do the bedrooms let's, first? Let's, let's not go to the bedrooms. Okay. And yeah, the walls are green right now. You see that red wall back there, but they're painting everything white. Upstairs is white pretty much already. And it's also making it difficult because, you know, like people, they're trying to do like the painting and stuff. So it's just, we don't wanna be stepping on people's toes and whatnot. So yeah, this room. I'm thinking. Damn, that'd be cool too. Like this would be a nice. Like we could make this a game room. Okay. So I'm thinking the bed would go right here. Bunk bed. Then a bunk bed. I'm thinking if we do a bunk bed, it would be in that smaller room. Okay, I agree. Um, and we gotta ask them what they're doing with this window. Just see the windows like boarded up right right there. We wanna ask them what they're doing with that. So we're pretty much finished up here. Um, we went through each of the rooms to decide, like I said earlier, what size beds we want. Um, and yeah, they're doing a lot of remodeling more than we thought at the beginning, but we talked to the contractor and he said that it should be done in the next two to three weeks. So we're still on track for our list date. I just got all the Something you want to say? Nah, I ain't got to say. 
Okay. We should still be on track for our list day. So I'm per I'm very excited. I'm very excited to decorate. Lots, lots, lots of potential. It's a beautiful space. But now I'm hungry and I think I'm gonna get some tacos. So guys, so I just got home. It's dark. Let me turn the light on. I just got home. I was gonna show you my tacos, but they weren't really that great, so there's really no point. But I'm about to start working. I just sent in my pitches to my editor and I'm waiting for her to approve whichever one so I can start writing my story for tonight. And that's pretty much all I have planned for tonight. I don't really have much planned, even though I'm low-key tired of being in the house, but I don't really want to go out like to the club or to drink or nothing. I want to do something else that's fun, so. We'll see what I can get into or not. I'll probably end up just watching a movie or whatever, but I've been looking at, for the meantime, until my editor hits me back, I'm going to look at puppies because I really, oops, I really want to pop my hair. Don't judge me. I need to wrap it. I'm not going anywhere if I don't, my hair doesn't get wrapped, even though it's looking kind of cute, but like. I don't know if it's just my lashes make me feel that way. But yeah, I want a puppy. I want a puppy, so I'm going to be... This girl that I met got her dog off Facebook Marketplace. So she's going to add me to... Or Facebook, so she's going to add me to a group. But I'm just going to look at puppies right now because I really want one. I want to decide which one I'm going to get. I definitely want to adopt one. My sister, Diana is going to let me babysit her dog for like a month to see if I really want to be a dog mom but I really think I want to I've always wanted a dog for like forever but I'm on Facebook right now let me show you guys I don't know what type of one I want because they're all like really cute when they're baby Frenchie puppies first shots one blue male one blue sable female oh DM for more info. They so cute. I luckily want a Frenchie. My sister has a Frenchie and I'm in love with him even though he's crazy. Chihuahua puppies? What does that mean? Oh, Chihuahua and Wiener Dog? Aussie puppies. Oh. <gasps> Well, potty trained, bat checked, vaccinated, papers available. And then it's saying me and my sister before I left. Like, is that not bogus to break them up? Oh, baby Kavachan. See, I don't know what, what dogs are. I don't know, what, like, the different breeds. So, I mean, see, I was looking up golden doodles, see how big they get. Because I want something, like, medium-sized. These are cute. I'm going to have to put this in full grown. Okay, that's really not my fave. That looks a little silly. I want to see how much these are. Just to see, even though I'm not ready to adopt right now, but I just want to see. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do until my editor hits me back with my pitch. I'll just wait until she gets me back and then I'll just let you guys watch me write. I don't know how to do this weekly vlog stuff, but I want to be more like in the moment else she's hitting me back. Hey guys, so I finished working and I made myself some tacos. I don't know, I've just been really addicted to tacos lately, shrimp tacos. So I made myself some, let me show you guys. So some shrimp tacos on corn shells. I put some sriracha mayo because I'm in love with sriracha mayo, cilantro, onion. I had these two like taco sauces from uh, like, the grocery store I put on there as well and some lime juice and that's just basmati rice I don't have any Spanish rice and black beans and of course sriracha mayo that's pretty much it for tonight I'm just gonna eat and watch blood diamond and I'll see y'all maybe tomorrow hey guys today is Saturday and I'm about to wrap my hair I don't have much plan today I'm gonna wrap my hair I'm gonna clean up 
if you see these clothes on the ground right here it's because so I haven't really had a dresser haven't had a dresser so like all my clothes that aren't hung up I've been like they've been in hampers and stuff and that's so annoying trying to find an outfit and digging through hampers so I finally got like a cube a little Ikea cube that I'm gonna show you guys um I don't know if I'm going to show in this vlog or actually do like a haul video for my furniture that I got lately off of Face Market, Facebook Marketplace. But either way, yeah. And I'm just going to treat that as my dresser. I'm going to get some inserts and stuff. But right now, well, after I finish my hair, I'm going to fold these clothes up and just place them into the organizer so that they can at least, one, get off the floor. And two, I don't have to live out of these bins. Like, it's... It's really annoying. And I dump them all on the floor because I'm like, if I dump them all on the floor, then I have to do them. Like, it's going to be in my face. But, you know, there's always a way around everything. If I just close the door, then I don't have to see it. But I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to do it. Also, I want to wrap my hair. So, when I first was going to perm my hair, I saw this TikTok. This woman was molding her hair. And I was like, oh my God, I want my hair to look just like that. And I haven't tried to mold my hair like hers yet, so I'm about to try to find the TikTok. And I'm probably going to put it on the screen to see, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. hairstyles okay but so oh yeah it was this woman hi low lux i love her hair so much i feel like her hair this is the picture that i saved to my pinterest board to manifest my hair um i feel like her hair is a little longer than mine but i'm about to watch a video i'm about to watch one of her youtube videos and see if i could mimic this because i love the little swoop de swoop like i've been liking okay a couple things when I first got my hair cut for my birthday, um, I wanted it wanted it cut like I had it. Okay, so I'm all over the place. So when I very, very first got my hair cut and permed, like before I went blonde, she had to do the blonde and like the perming a couple days apart. So like for like two days, I had like black or brown hair like I have now. But it was like a little longer, so it came to like my mid forehead. It was super cute. I'll probably put a picture in. I posted one on Instagram. I posted one on Instagram, so... If you see my Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. But then I went back. Then I went blonde. So then when I went back, just now for my birthday, I got my hair first cut in late August. So when I just went for my birthday, she had to call the blonde out. So my hair was a little shorter. So it was like right here. And I wasn't liking it at first. Like in my birthday photos, I was like, I just look like I have a buzz cut. So it was like, it's not really my fave. But after I washed my hair and molded it like last week, it seemed longer and I was like oh I really like this so I feel like it's at a good length now I don't know what that's about but I don't know if it's this long so let me go to her YouTube Hi Low Lux let me go to her YouTube and see what playlist she has let me tell you, let me be efficient I don't know why like I use my phone like a boomer or something like I don't know how technology works Hi Low Lux hair okay my pixie hair is he oh yeah i'm living for like the swoop de swoop thing she has going on but i just find her hair is longer than mine definitely on the sides yeah she's a lot more hair than me let's see if we do well i also need to get some hair oil and she does her all for like she purrs it cuts it like herself like i need to get on this level okay so i have this bio silk silk therapy i'm about to put in don't know if it's gonna make a difference but let's use it yes yeah, so i'm giving porcupine porcupine vibes okay so i have the basics of how to mold my hair so that's not really what i'm here for but i want to know exactly how she does it my hair is my hair is starting to grow out just a tiny bit so like my edges and my sideburns and then like nape of my neck isn't as like straight as I would like it to be but once if I like put mousse on it it'll be fine so let me see let me go back okay so 
I was like, I really love having a girlfriend right now. I really do. I'm just thinking like, it was my time where I was like, you're natural. I was natural from like, fully natural within my freshman year high school until I just learned it so at 21. So I was like, okay, high school, 12, 13, 14, 15, 21. How many years? Eight years? And one thing we learned. Okay, so she's cold off. She wants to be. We actually did this step, so. Okay, now she's putting on the foam. Okay. Also, I learned the secret to the foam is making sure that you get it. Well, my hair is like pretty much permed all the way through right now, even though I just said it's growing out a little bit, but not too much. Like, it's like a tiny, tiny bit of new growth. But the secret to the mousse is to get it on your scalp. That's how you get a flat, a flat mold. That's what I learned. I should have paid more attention. Okay, so she actually went to the side a little bit. That's my problem. I don't have any patience, so watching tutorials is like always really hard for me because I'm like, oh, I know, I know what to do. I know what to do. No, you do not know what to do. But I've always been like that. Like my mom always said since I was little, she would try to teach me my ABCs or how to spell my name, and I'd be like, I know it. I know. I know. I know. And wasn't knowing. Never knew. My thing is, she has more hair. So let me try to see if I could swoop this hair to the front. And then, because this is just edges, this is not like hair. She has actual, I hope I was right about not needing to really hit my roots because my hair hasn't really grown out that much because it's looking a little wavy. But once I put on the wraps, I think we should really be back in business. My camera died in the middle of me doing my do, so. So I just wrapped it. I have these tiny wraps, which I grabbed by accident. So I had to use like 50 of them just to get this big wrap. So if you're wrapping your hair, I definitely recommend getting the big black ones, the jumbo black ones, instead of these tiny ones. I used to use like six of them, but it's neither here nor there. Now I'm about to sit on the couch and sit under my little dryer hood for about 45 minutes and dry my hair and watch America, America's Next Top Model and like look on Facebook Marketplace for like furniture for the Airbnb. And just chill out. I'm not gonna vlog because you're not gonna be able to hear me. So bad news is my hair didn't come out like the ladies. Cause it's not long enough. But good news is it's still cute anyway. I just finished writing. That story was like kind of hard for me to write <sighs> today, but we got through it regardless. Um, got the feedback from my editor, made those changes, and now we're all done. Until until next time. But I really just want to go in here and really just kind of talk about how, like, I just had a little thought. Like, just a little quick little thought. And really, I should probably, like, holster my phone up. But I'm just going to hold it right now. Um, so I was thinking about, like, I recently gained weight and stuff. And, like, like getting over the fact that I probably, like, even though I am, but not really, like, a size small anymore. Like, and, like, maybe I'm moving up, like, a size 6, maybe even a size 8. And just realizing, like, that's really not that big of a deal. Like, if the clothes fit, the clothes fit. It's not that big of a deal. Like, what am I, you know, like, what am I holding on to that for? Like, that's so st silly and so stupid. Even though I always wanted to be thick, and I love my weight, um, I do want to start working out just so, like, it doesn't go to my stomach as much. Even though it hasn't really, but I feel like if I gain, continue to gain weight, it will. But moral of the story is it's really not that big of a deal. Like if I'm not a size small, if I move up to mediums or if I'm not a four anymore, like it's not that big of a deal. Like I still look good. That's what really, ma what really matters at the end of the day. Like those sizes are so stupid. And I'm just like, I don't know why I had that little thought for a minute. I'm just kind of like, wow, I'm not a size four anymore. I'm a six, I'm an eight. Like, even when I said in my Zara haul, I was, like, I was doing the Zara size finder, and they were, like, telling me I was a large, and I was, like, I'm not a large. And it's, like, okay, if I am a large, like, it's really not that big of a deal. Even though I'm really not a large, Zara is just one small. But, like, if I was, it really, really isn't that big of a deal. Like, if I'm comfortable with my body, and I love my body, and I really do like the way it's looking. Yeah, just love yourself. Love your body. Um, it's thick season. I mean, it's been that. And what's so crazy is I was just doing a side-by-side -side comparison from, like, my birthday in January to, like, a photo I took in May of last year when... My thing is, I've always thought I was thick, except for that time in school when I was 127. I've always thought I was thick. Like, when I get, like, one... Um, okay, backstory. 
in high school, I was 140, like consistently in high school. And then I got to college and I lost weight and I went down to like probably like 130, 133, whatever. And then I was, felt like I was super thick. I was really shapely my sophomore year. And then after that, I just started like losing weight because I was struggling. I wasn't eating as much, you know, college stuff. And then um, ever since then, I was kind of like wanting to get my, my weight back. But I've always just thought I was a thick girl. Like my dad one time, I said something about being skinny. And he was like, what do you think you are? And I was like, I'm thick, honey. He was like, what? Like, you're so skinny. I'm just like, I never saw myself as skinny. But now looking back at the comparison photos of like me now, I'm probably like, last time I stepped on the scale, I was 147 when I went to the doctors. That was like in November ish um i was 147 i haven't stepped on the scale since i don't own a scale I'm probably like around 145 147 i don't think i'm 150 yet but probably like in that range so i'm looking at them um photos and my comparison and it's just like it's just so funny because i really thought i was thick girl it was never giving that it was never giving that like i always had a big butt um and i've kind of just i mean i've always had a shape but I don't really have huge hips or anything. I have hip dips. It's like, you really thought you was thick, but now I'm actually thick. Like, I'm a thick chick. But you know, they really say that, and sorry if I'm rambling, but they really say that 25, you reach your second puberty and I'm only 23, so I'm kind of scared because it's like, what's gonna happen at 25? What's gonna happen? I hope I get hips. I don't know if any 25 and ups watch my channel, but if you do, let me know about the second puberty thing. Or is it 30? I saw 25 and I also kind of saw like 30. So let me know what's the truth. What's really the truth? Okay, guys. Good night. I look cute. Hair freshly molded. You know, this side is not doing what this side is doing. This side is giving me flat. Flat with the curls on the top. Like, I like it. This side is not. This side is giving me curl on the side, curl on the top. On after I go to sleep tonight. It should be good. But yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Guys, it's Sunday. Like I said yesterday, I'm gonna go run to coach today. Um, I might go to Zara return any foods I have, and I might do some thrifting. Oh, my shirt is so litty. Um, but let's get into these outfit details, okay? I'm going for like a basic, just like shopping look. Like I tried another outfit, but it just wasn't coming together. So I was like, let me just do, let me just go basic and I'll throw on my leather trench coat. We'll pull the trench coat to you know really spice it up a little bit. It is 46 degrees today, which is close to 50, which is close to 80 degrees summertime. So I'm not wearing a coat, I'm just gonna wear this. I hope I'm not too cold. I think that if I'm inside before the sun goes down, I should be good. I don't plan on being out that long. Um, and then this purse I got from the I thrifted, um, this tote bag, and then I have. These pretty little thing western boots on that I got for twenty dollars. I wish these uh, jeans, I have these fashion over black jeans on, and I don't really wear them. It's not my style anymore. I wish they didn't have holes in me, but it is what it is. Not that big of a deal. I think trench coat covers it up. I feel cute. I feel sleek. You know, hair is done. Hair is done. Um, yeah, I actually should probably get something to eat because I'm really hungry. <sighs> For some reason, I always just wait until I get out of the house to eat. Who knows? But yeah, I'll bring you guys on my journey with me today. I was going to like have y'all get dressed with me, but my living room is like atrocious. I don't want to have to be walking from there to here, there to here. But next time, I will definitely have y'all get dressed with me. For sure. But yeah, oh yeah, I have all my Tiffany bracelets, my necklace that I never took off that my mom got for me. Hey guys, we're at, um, Rosemont or a fashion outlet. It's cold in the garage, but I'm about to walk inside and head to coach and see what else they got in here. Don't mind my dirty car.
turn this one around. I'm leaning towards this pink one more. I don't really have a lot of pink. I feel like this is a cute like I can wear with a lot. But I like this pink one, even though I do have another pink springy bag, this one is cute for like. I like both. What do you guys think? This tends to be an issue for me. Like one is more, I feel like practical and one is more like fun and me. And I don't know what to do. I don't know which one I like. They also have these doctor bags. The doctor bags really aren't my favorite though, but we'll see. Another thing is I don't really care for this, like that, the coach label on the strap. I think that's kind of ugly to me, so if I wanted to wear it with this, I'm not gonna really want to walk around with this part. I don't like that. Um, I don't know if I, I like this. We think I hate, start to hate the chunky chain. I don't know. I really don't. But it's super cute to me. We shall see, we shall see a lot of a lot of thinking to do. Let me keep looking and then I'll marinate on it. Okay. I have a couple more options. There's this one, which is a men's bag, but I kind of like it. It's, it's different. And what was the other one? This one Vince picked out. I mean, it's cute, it's simple. Here's it in cream. Hmm. I don't know, what do y'all think? So I wasn't in love with anything in coach, so I came over to Kate Spade and I found something. I want to show you guys when I get in the car. But yeah, mission accomplished. I didn't get any footage inside because I was so focused on getting a bag. Yikes, yeah, sorry. But I'm outside right now. I also just had an uh, Auntie Anne's pretzel. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to eat today. I don't know if I'm still going to go thrifting. We got out so late. It's just like. I even feel like doing anything else. But I also want to seize the day because it's so nice out. So I don't know. A lot to decide, a lot to decide. I need a lash fill. It's starting to get crazy around here. It's gonna get crazy, but my fill is on Thursday, so I don't you fret. Hey guys, so it is now Tuesday. I did do my nails. I don't know if you guys like that. Oh, can you? There you go. I did my nails. I'm going for like the almond look. So I did them with like press-ons, whatever, but I didn't show you my purse. But I'm going to show you today because, you know, I'm not really having the best day. Um, things aren't really going the way I would like them to. So, you know, I had a really sad day today, but I'm about to go to this Italian restaurant that I like called Victory Tap. Where I really, really like their bread. Um, so I'm like just going to go and try some more dishes. I didn't really like, I had lobster ravioli last night. It wasn't my fave, but I really want their bread today. So I'm going to go and try something else. But yeah, I'm going to do that to cheer me up. So that's what I'm getting ready for. And I will show you guys once I get dressed. Dressed and just film some content. Film, film a reel. I have like three lashes on, but I'm not going to let that get me down. Because my lash appointment is on Thursday. I don't really have three, but If you can see it's pretty bad it's pretty bad over here so I was thinking like I'm not gonna do that much makeup because I feel like it's gonna be a waste because I don't have any lashes on and I'm not putting lashes on top of here so I might do my brows or I might just do my hair and say F it but yeah really I kind of wanted to get on here and kind of just talk about like how I was feeling today do you ever like just maybe one thing happens and then you just start to really feel like maybe not even one thing because this is not always just when something happens I just started to get that feeling where I'm just like you know what am I doing with my life like I feel like I could be doing so much more type stuff and I feel like I know that's a crazy thing to even be feeling right now because I feel like I've accomplished you know some some things since I graduated school and one you're not your accomplishments but you know in this regard i've accomplished some things i got my first bought my first car i moved you know like 
Um, I'm figuring stuff out, but you know, I just had like these thoughts today of like, what am I doing with my life? Like, I'm just wasting time. I could be doing so much more. And because I don't have like a traditional, you know, nine to five type job. And it's just like, <sighs> was just making me so sad. But I think that's kind of like my like imposter syndrome. I don't know. Just feeling like I'm not good enough. Feeling like maybe, I don't know, social media. I don't know what it is. I just feel like, what am I doing when you are actually doing, when you are actually doing stuff? Like, what is that? I don't get it. I really hate it. I just sit there and get so down on myself and just be like, girl, get it, get it together. Get it together. I don't know if it sounds like I'm rambling right now, but I had a blip in the road, but all I, all I can do is just work to be better and get better and hope for the best. And if I could just put my best foot forward, you know, that's really all you could do is put your best foot forward. And I know that I have the capabilities to do so. Oh, side note, my I'm starting to need a perm, so the back of my neck is a scary sight. But anyway, um, all I can do is just put my best foot forward. And I know that I can, I just have to really really make the effort to do so and not get too down on myself. I don't know, I just don't like being, I don't like being like wrong. It's gonna kind of sound not how I want it to, but like I don't like feeling like I'm bad at something or like I'm not, or I was in the wrong or like, you know, I just get really down on myself for that. Maybe because I didn't have enough people growing up telling me that I, I sucked at stuff, but. <sighs> Everything will be all right. I'm about to put on a cute outfit. My lashes are done on Thursday. I'm going to get my lashes done on Thursday. Maybe I should fill in my brows a little bit. I think I will fill in my brow only because I cut this one and it's a little jagged. I'm going to try to get some cute pictures even though I don't have all my lashes. But that can always be edited. Should I put some concealer on? I don't know, like, I low-key want to put some concealer on, but I don't know. Let me do my eyebrows first. I'm about to do my eyebrows. Oh, also, if you see some clothes on the floor, you don't, because I haven't finished organizing my glam room yet. I ordered some more hangers. I'm using wooden hangers right now. So I ordered some more from Target. I was going to go pick them up, but then it was like, I ordered them for pickup. And then they were like, we don't have them anymore. So now I'm just going to have them shipped. Have them shipped and they should be here on Friday and my glam room should be complete. Well, not complete. It's far from complete. But, okay, I'll drag it. Maybe not far from complete, but it's not complete. Also, I'm excited because um, today I'm going to try to, not try to, today I'm going to film a cute little TikTok size so real for this weekly vlog. I'm just going to do it me going out tonight. I'm going to do like a um, weekly vlog and then do like dinner type stuff. So that's why I'm really like trying to be cute for it. Well, I'm trying to be cute regardless, but like, look, eyebrows just made the difference. You not only have on three lashes, I feel like they're speaking for themselves. I don't need to carve up my brows. So I'm just trying to give natural Natural. Let's move on to the fit. So I really want to wear my Western boots. If you know, you know from my Zara haul. If you don't know, go check it out. Cause I'm obsessed with them right now. But I don't have a lot of pants to go with them. Oh, let me check the weather because it was raining today. Ooh. It was raining today. And but it was also warm today, like warm. Okay, it's 28 degrees. Useless. Okay, so definitely need to put on something warm, even though I'm just getting from the Uber to the restaurant, to the restaurant to the car. I have these pants that I recently got from H&M. They're like split hem pants. I should probably try them on. 
wedding pants that are kind of giving me office vibes, but kind of not really. Tan, I got them in tan, and then I got them in green. Split him at the bottom. It's so hard getting dressed because, like, I just don't have enough clothing to make outfits. Like, I have clothes, but they're just not. Or maybe it's just not what I want to wear anymore. I don't know what it is. It's linty, though. I have this, oops, from Naked Wardrobe. Yikes. I have this from Naked Wardrobe. Okay, well, I don't want to run my battery out just standing here. So let me stand here with off camera. And then when I get some ideas, I will come back. Three hours later. Y'all, I'm back. It took me a minute because I almost had a meltdown, but I called my mom and she came through as always. I'm about to show you the outfit, but first, let me show you my purse that I got from yesterday from Kate Spade. Um, I have another Kate Spade purse. It's like a pink tweed purse. So I think she has like really cute spring fun bags. I wouldn't call it a mini bag, but it's really not that big. It has um, a chain and with like let me open it yellow leather strap super cute i think i, I could wear her crossbody and on my shoulder like this but she's not what i'm wearing today obviously my friend's brown genuine leather okay shout out to misguided i think misguided uh jacket i kind of got her a little too big i got her in a medium because i wanted to be oversized but it's like a little bigger than I wanted, but I think it still works, so I just like going through the trouble of returning it. This white top that I got from H&M a while ago, it's open in the back. Pray for me because it's cold outside. I have on these mom jeans. Mom jeans, excuse my floor, and my western boots that I said I wanted to wear, and my vintage, not vintage yet, I actually just talked to my mom. Vintage yet, but it's about to be vintage, because vintage is like 20 years old or something like that. It's about to be vintage, passed down from my mom. Dior saddlebag, cowhide, brown saddlebag purse. So I'm ready to go. I'm going to take a little, hmm, I was going to, I'm going to get my outfit outside. So, yeah, but no makeup today. I'm wearing my glasses just in case. My lashes are too atrocious in photos, which I don't think I need them. I don't think they're a bad look though. Oh, also, I didn't show you. I have this little like silver belt thing on that my sister gave me a minute ago. Oop. It's actually supposed to sag like this, but that's not how I want to wear it today. So I just kind of try to tuck the, let me try to make this tight. If I make this tighter, it won't sag. Okay. And then push this to the back. It's a little chain belt. I think it's super cute. Because so when I take this off, this jacket off, when I sit down, if I take it off, put this back up. If I take it off, then you know I won't feel bare. Like I still have a cute fit on. So let me take this off. These are not part of the outfit right now. Only necessity. But yes, I'm running late. I was supposed to leave it at 7. It is 7.27. I'm about to call my Uber. And we finna be out. Okay, guys. I'm back home. I didn't really get much footage at the restaurant because I was so focused on making my TikTok. And, you know, I'm just new to this content creator stuff. So, better luck next time. But, as always, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for watching my first weekly vlog. I'm so excited to start on my weekly vlog journey. And, as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch y'all next time.